Desktop Metal. Desktop Metal went out of business last week, uh, officially went into bankruptcy. Uh, according to the news, uh, Desktop Metal had been officially acquired by Nano Dimension, but was still technically a separate entity. So they just bankrupted the whole thing rather than absorbing it into themselves. I don't really understand how that works. I suppose the shareholders of the company like Nano Dimension has to pay for it but doesn't retain it or keep it around and keep on losing money from it. That nuance is kind of lost on me of how that goes through um, because it's technically a part of Nano Dimension, even though it's a separate entity, which means Nano Dimension was the primary shareholder, which means Nano Dimension has to pay for it, but doesn't get their money back out of it. So they go into bankruptcy, they shell off the assets. Maybe that number one shareholder is the first money out from whatever liquidation happens, uh, but I doubt it. Plus they spent a hundred million dollars on desktop metal, I believe. So, uh, and I don't think desktop metal has that many assets unless you include uh, the patent portfolio. But if they did pay $100 million for it, Desktop Metal's legal firm is suing for $90 million because of unpaid legal fees. 